welcome to Hancon Network where you get updates of things happening around you. I appreciate every one of you that have subscribed to this channel. And if you have not subscribed, I say thank you very much because I know that at the end of this news, you are going to subscribe. And I want you to press the red button and also the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime we publish any news. Thank you very much once again. Thanks for paying after eight months. A minimum to school in. Okay. Toba, I got the best of them about me, so on here. Sorry, but don't tell my face, say, and lost it. Shabba, and lost it. Toba, Toba, say, so be Jack, did Jack, eh? I do a day. On the Baza Shelle, on the Koshele. When we are saying, some of you, some of you, oh, you tell me little respect for constituted authority, no matter what, no matter what. Till you remember that there will be eight months of what? A Nicola Ginti Schooner. So what? It's not to call a le cocolette, a talofe, a limo, a mini. A Nicola. A mini. A mini. A mini. The boy wants me. The boy wants me. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. You must face reality. The reality on ground okay, number one. Number one. The management. The real state government and many governments. The lack front. If they lack fund, they must find a way to help the students. But if you come here and you are shouting at me, I'm not going to talk to you. This government will not tolerate nonsense from anybody. I'm sorry for my misdeeds in office, Ajimobi begs for your indigence. The immediate past governor of Oyo State, Abiola Ajimobi, has tendered an apology for his misdeeds in office as executive governor of the state. He said people of the state must learn to forgive him for any foul committed in office, especially in his utterances, adding that those were the things that made him who he is and different from every other person. Ajimobi spoke on Sunday in Ibadan House, Ukiaremo Ibadan, venue of a luncheon held in his honor by the Ibadan's Elders Forum. Speaking on the administration of the incumbent governor, Ajimobi advised Governor Sheima Kinde to face governance instead of trying to discredit him, adding that he should correct the perceived areas he, Ajimobi, might have done badly and build on the success of his eight years administration. Ajimobi noted that it was his prayers that Makinde succeeds in office, noting that if the governor succeeds, he would have taken the state higher than he met it, urging him not to try to be perfect. He said, My admonition is that the new government succeeds. It is in our best interest that he succeeds. If he succeeds, he would have taken Oyo State higher than he met it. I am advising him that he should not try to be perfect, but he must build on our successes. He must build and not demolish. He must build and not destroy. We have raised the bar of governance in this state and can't afford to get it down again. We must not return to the days of bringing age and days of locusts, where chaos and disorder was the norm in Ibadan. Let him face the job and not look at mundane issues. There was a time ahead he said our government officials took us away. Which vehicles is he talking about among all the issues on ground in the state? That is one thing we always tell all these people. When they are in power, they behave as if they are gods. From the uh, video we watched from the beginning before we start this news, you will see that the way Ajimobi was talking as if it's just going to be there forever. 
as if or your state is his personal property or his personal company. He was talking to people anyhow. Even the children that you thought you were talking to, you don't even know what they are going to become tomorrow. Definitely, they are going to be greater than you because that's the prayer of elders that their children should be greater than them. And you talk to the children as if they were nothing. The children that have been home for over a year, more than one year, and you were talking to them. You expected them to have even reacted the way they reacted. But the way he was talking, because I learned that people always talk that the man is really bad mattered He talks, you know, without caution. He talks as if he's not educated. And these are the people that have really worked, you know, in a corporate organization, even before joining politics. But as soon as they join politics, they become something else. You wonder as if these people had really, if they had gone to school in the first place. The power intoxicates them. Now he's coming out to, to beg people that he, even in his utterances, he knew quite all right that most of the things he said, most of the utterances then were not really right. But he felt that it was all and all. And these guys are not even young, young, young stars. They are not even children. They were matured before even going into that office. So I see no reason why they even needed somebody to be advising them in the first place. I think by the time they get there, when they see all the you know, benefits accrued even to a governor or whatever position they are holding. It you know, makes them forget themselves. A lot of people complaining about the, man, the way, the manner at which he was dealing with people. Even towards the end of his administration, you know, the manner at which he dealt, you know, he handled um, this man, this musician, Ayefele, Yenka Ayefele. It was really out of hand. And at the end of the day, what he, what he ought to have done from the beginning was what he now did at the end about before you knew it he spoiled everything and i think that is just my own opinion and i think that was one of the reasons why apc lost in oyo state because they wouldn't want they didn't want to repeat what they wouldn't want to repeat what a uh, ajimobi had done and that was why they flushed APC out of Oyo State because of one of his character, because of the way he handled the state. Not to talk, not to talk of a you know, we heard about the way he was, uh, you know, talking to the or the, the way he was handling the traditional rulers, all manner of things. But he has come back to his senses to beg for forgiveness, and a lot of people that he had caught, he had caused pain. So what will now be happening to those people? You are coming. To beg for forgiveness. Of course, it's God that will forgive. Of course, the people will definitely move on. They have a new governor. And I think that should that one should learn from you know the past, the, the from the past, from the way Ajimobi handled the whole thing. I think it that will serve as a lesson to Makinde himself, Sheyu Makinde. That you don't just misbehave, you don't just think that you are all at all in all. I guess you are going to stay in that office. It's eight years. God help you if after four years you are not being thrown out. But if you are so lucky, after eight years, you'll be out of the office. So what are we talking about? What kind of position do we really want to attain that, you know, that will make us to just forget our senses, to make us forget the, 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 the kind of person we are or we ought to have portrayed ourselves? All these uh, governors, all these are politicians. I don't even know the way they reason. You make yourself bigger than the people you are serving. You are supposed to be their servants. They are supposed to be your boss but reverse is the case most of them go abroad you see they see the way they see uh, uh, the way things go there you can't see a public officials or public officer misbehaving they are so cultured they are so you know they are so humbled but in our own case you will see them when they are driving with their siren all over the place they will not even allow you to even move but when it comes to election, you will see them be prostrating. You know, they want to identify with you. They will go to market women. They will be frying akara with them. They will be, you know, all manner of things. They will go to, to buka. They will go to local restaurants, you know, just to make you feel as if they are part of you. But as soon as they get to that position, it's something else. That's just my opinion. Guys, I would like you to put down your comments and let us see what you feel about this forgiveness. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs>